Hello friends and welcome back to another promotional artist breakdown. Now if you have been following my past five videos you'll know that I have been covering a compilation of artists that I had the blessing of meeting as well as purchasing some beautiful art from out at my buddy Abram Sudan's birthday festival. This gentleman throws a festival for his birthday every year folks you heard right it's called the Fishbowl Festival out at Fairyland, Harrietta, Michigan. Beautiful little spot out in the National Forest. Um, thank you again Abram for allowing me to, to enjoy your birthday and your festival and be able to meet all of these artists. I've had such a just like wonderful time covering all of these fabulous artists and their art. Thank you again. I can't wait till next year. I'm going to have his information um, in the description and in the comment section of this video as well along with um, this sixth and final artist that I'm covering tonight. She is a fabulous wire rap artist. Um, I was able to get a couple gorgeous pieces from her, um, and I will get to her very shortly. But at the beginning of this whole situation, the first video I did on the first artist that I had was able to get some art from out at this festival this last summer, um, I drank a tea in that video is an oolong, I believe, from my favorite tea guru, Sohan, out of Austin, Texas, West China Tea Company. Uh, check him out on Facebook as well. I'm going to have him in the descriptions as well. Um, and now, tonight, I figured I would end off this compilation of artists with another tea from my favorite tea guru. This is a uh, 2015 Vanilla Obscura Shu Pu'er. Comes straight from the mountains of China. And this gentleman travels to China and works with these farmers personally so he knows every farmer he gets this tea from check him out again West China Tea Companies thank you so on so much you got to check out this tea it looks like coffee but it is and it is so good so on thank you so much mm. oh it's so good so soothing and now we are gonna get to this artist I'm covering tonight very shortly here but first the music and now on the mic tonight we have Scrawberry, and that is S-Q-R-A-B-U-R-Y. You can find this gentleman's set that I'm listening to right now on Sunday Swerve. It's a group on Facebook that every Sunday they cover just some crazy bass head DJs a lot of the times, but they, they throw in some different types of DJs in there as well, but it is just wonderful. You should definitely support their site. Support Scrawberry. Go on. Give him a like. Give him a share on his video. And without further ado, we will get to my final artist from the Fishbowl Festival. And now this beautiful wire wrap artist's name is Shayla Ruiz. And she has Dirty Hippie Creatings. And again, I am going to give you an Instagram, an Etsy, a Facebook, and I think um, there's one more link on there as well too that I'm going to give you to. And I am also going to have a link to my YouTube page. I created a new YouTube page because I keep getting censored on Facebook. Uh, they particularly don't like my my posts on Gamatria, the practice of coding numbers into words, but um, I've got so many strikes with some of these posts sometimes that I... Um, they take me down for 30 days every time at this point and I don't want that to get in the way of these videos so I'm going to be moving them to this YouTube page it's called Fall of the Red and Orange Fox it has a little fox emoji there in, uh, next to it and if you appreciate what I do for these artists again follow that page subscribe to my page if you would I would I would really appreciate it I love to promote these artists and Facebook just keeps salt in my game so um, if you would uh, hit on that link in the comments section and um, hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And now without further ado, let's get to these pieces. This first one right here is a malachite down there at the bottom and a chrysopase right there at the top. It's wrapped in copper. And now look at those beautiful Fibonacci's on the back too. Look at the symmetry guys. Isn't that gorgeous? I know my phone doesn't focus very well, but now Oh, it's so beautiful though. Thank you so much, Shayla. And now that malachite is a heart stone, like most green stones. Um, it's good to keep close if you have broken bones. I uh, can assist in the healing process there. Uh, it helps with blood pressure as well because that's related to the heart. Um, it can help you let go of uh, old patterns, emotional traumas. 
uh, mental traumas, things like that. It help, can help you kind of get outside of your comfort zone. It's got a really calming, nurturing, um, just feminine nature to it. It's a feminine stone. Um, it's also termed the midwife stone because it can help with labor pains and menstrual cramps if you're a woman. Um, can help you uh, just release fears and phobias as well. Uh, just gorgeous stone though, isn't it? Then we got chrysoprase there at the top. That's a heart stone as well, but it's also um, a fifth chakra stone as well, so it can help you uh, communicate your truth with wisdom, balanced with love and forgiveness. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Thank you so much, Shayla. And now this next one here is a beautiful green jasper. And now jasper is called the supreme nurturer. That's what it's referred to. It's great for stress. It can bring tranquility and wellness, stimulate that kind of um, a vibe with, with the person who, who owns the stone. It can stimulate imagination as well. Um, as far as like for your body, it can assist immune system. So like it can boost your immune system as well. It can help with skin disorders and assist in healing ailments of the digestive tract things like that isn't that pretty and now down here that's a that that green it, it, jasper is kind of more of a feminine stone so we have it balanced out with a masculine stone right there that's garnet i know it doesn't focus very well but that's a red garnet and now garnet is more of a masculine stone like i said it stimulates passion creativity strength um it can, if you're in a sexual relationship, it can help with the passion in that area and just kind of balance out those energies in a, in a, in a really helpful way in that situation. Um, and like I said, it's a good balance here for this feminine green jasper. And now to top it all off at the top, we got a tiny little lapis lazuli there. And lapis is a uh, blue stone. It's a fifth chakra stone. So again, helps with communicating your truth. Um, any kind of communication, whether it's written or verbal, that will help you out with. And now, this beautiful artist, again, look at that one again. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Um, now, she has been wire wrapping for two years. And uh, six months in to, to her wire wrapping gig, she uh, COVID hit. And she just said that enough's enough. She quit her job, jumped in her car, started creating full time. Um, and she just is so much happier now doing this. And I can tell it's so beautiful, Shayla. And she she's wanted everybody to know that she was able to uh, travel five different states this year, selling her art. She's making a really comfortable living doing it. And she's just so happy. And she just wants everybody to know that if you've got a dream, you have a passion, find it and just do it to the best of your ability. And, and the universe will give you everything that you need. So thank you again, Shayla. Thank you again, Abram. I've had such a great time covering these artists. And again, check out Strawberry on Sunday Swerve. Thanks again for checking out my video, guys.